All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, NBs and BBs and everybody in between Bs, tonight we send off the shit year, the, the ass chronological power that was 2021. But before we do, we must, nay, will, watch some weird ass cartoons. <laughs> Mixic, is this your Van Hilsing cosplay? I didn't even put two and two together. Yeah, it is kind of Van Hilsingy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it is so nice to see so many familiar names and faces in the chat. I'm super jazzed. Um, and, uh, you know. Obviously, we're gonna. It's this isn't gonna be a three-hour marathon stream because um, three hours is not marathon by streaming standards. I'm just old and lack discipline and stamina. But you know what I mean. Uh, at eight Eastern, uh, I will immediately pull the plug, and we're gonna jump over to watch uh, Holden and Jackie and MJ uh, watch cats together because I think that's gonna be a good ass time. Hiya, hell yeah, hella yeah productions. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Hold on. Let me turn off this uplifting uh YouTube safe EDM. Anyway, uh oh, for the record, for the record, the Spider-Man stream is back up. We got dinged. We got dinged on a bunch of stuff. But um, the thing that took down the video, the thing that made it an unforgivable sin in the eyes of YouTube, you're not going to believe this. It was the Spider-Man 1994 theme song. That's what, that's what was a bridge too far. Not even the thing that took down the stream. It was literally that Spider-Man, Spider-Man, radio. Like, hey! Oh, enjoy your Zoa, Miss Abby Sin. Enjoy your Zoa. Enjoy your Zoa. Thanks for being one of the best parts of 2021. You have been an inspiration to me and my growth and how I try to be in my day-to-day -day life. Wish I could hang longer to give you more love. I'll send people over to Holden and Jackie. Uh, eh, I mean, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Mr. Optimus Prime feeling like a warrior. Um, I had to shuffle around the schedule a little bit, so, uh, but, uh, we got some good ones for you, and you know what? Last week, we didn't do it, but I, I'm feeling energized, and I feel like I have the strength necessary to, um, to, to pull this off. So, to start us off, of course, America's favorite, um, horrible video game show in an era before we realized how bad video game shows could be. Here's where it's we're starting with Minnesota local television's airing of 1990s Power Team. That's right, the Power Team. Uh, I don't have to explain the show. I don't have to explain squat. Uh, it's it's about a bunch of uh, poorly managed video game licenses ripping off Captain N for uh, fun and profit. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to see some chest pad action. Um, and, of course, uh, uh, Miss Abby Synth already contributed, but uh, today's stream, all proceeds will go to the Flesh Wife's new office chair fund. Uh, tragically, my uh, beautiful Flesh Wife's gigantic dump truck of a butt shattered her office chair, leaving her no place to work and exist. Uh, it is her burden as a large-butted uh, woman. It is, uh, of course... Those, those feminine hips that uh, made me hers instantly comes with a dark side. It comes with a dark side. And unfortunately, we gotta, we, our chair budget needs a little bit of help. So uh, if you're feeling the magic, if you're feeling the joy, know that your money is going to much needed butt support for my beautiful flesh wife's badonka donk. But without further ado, without, let us begin 
our journey into the cartoon dumpster. Let us dive deep like a bunch of animation raccoons with the power team. Prime Movie. <laughs> Enjoy your ZOA. Obligatory Thursday Jono. Also, I haven't watched it with him yet, but my BF was excited to unwrap our vampires on Thursday. Enjoy your ZOA. It took him a solid five minutes to realize the show was a fun time. <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. The butts of this house. Thank you. Video power. So World Series Week continues with show number two. And today we're gonna put the spotlight on a game called Little League Baseball. Sounds like fun, but we've also got a power team adventure and a super video power edge segment just on Super Mario 3. There's a lot of stuff to cover today, guys, so let's get right into it and open up with the Little League Baseball Video Power Review. Oh, finally. Finally, Little League Baseball for NES. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I can remember Little League Baseball being around forever. You know, I was actually pretty good when I played Little League. I started each time. Okay, so what if my dad was the coach? It was still a lot of fun. Great and bits. And so is this Great game. Bits, Johnny Power. Bunting is a major offensive weapon. Keep laying down bunts until the computer gets wise to your plan. <laughs> Little League Baseball lets you make a lot of small adjustments. See, the first mistake of the creators of Little League Baseball is definitely uh, trying to buy into the fantasy that children who own Nintendos want to play Little League. If anything, they would try, as they play Nintendo, explicitly to forget the uh, mild uh, confidence nightmare that is Little League. <laughs> AJ, only 10 minutes late. Glad it's Thursday again. I'm glad to see you, AJ. Happy, happy almost New Year. They made the kids for the frustrated dads. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh my God. Imagine you're a beleaguered dad with some poor, asthmatic, miscoordinated, overweight, chubby boy. Not talking from personal experience, mind you. Not obviously, but like his last hope. His last, like, gasp of hoping for an athletic child is he gets you a uh, Little League Nintendo game and just is like, huh? Huh? That's pretty fun, huh? Right? Oh, God. Sorry, I just made myself sad. <laughs> yeah, of course, like, if you, even if you were a fan of baseball, you'd want a major league game. <laughs> you'd want something even – you want to play a, the fantasy through the power of video games, is that you get to play an adult baseball. Oh my God. In where you stand in the batter's box, how you swing at low pitches, and where you set up on the pitching rubber. I'm getting rid of these goggles. This is a bit much. I'm, uh, wow, a real dinger. You can even adjust your swing to react to high, low, inside, and outside pitches. The bean ball, be careful not uh -oh. to pitch too tight. Hi, I'm back. This Little League Baseball has big league action. Yeah, but the color graphics are the best part. Man, you don't know what you're saying. What are you doing coming into my show, busting my Man, they oh, really man, love this your goddamn show. My show. parent trap effect. It's a deep one. It's going. It's going. It's gone. <sighs> Told you it was my show. <laughs> well, all right. How about chicken back for a while before we begin our Super Mario Brothers 3 Edge segment? Let's see another power team adventure, huh? What do you say? Let's yeah. roll. 
Let's go. We'll be right back. Oh, God. Okay. Here's hoping we got some good commercials this week. Hey, how about a nice... Oh, ah, my fun? God. Sure. All right. Well, we... Of all the... Of all the ads... Actually, now that I think about it, for over 20 non-carbonated beverages have had a rough a couple of years, of right? When was the last time you saw a bottle of Fruitopia? When was the last time you had a, uh, Snapple? But keep your eye on I guess vitamin water just took, took them out? Like, if you're drinking something without bubbles, you have to pretend to be healthy now? Call it man Uh-oh. My best friend Denny is going out with the woman I want to go with. Oh, Rudy! Start going again. I'm a criminal. I'm married. literally a monster. Then Denny and Judith divorced, but I'm still married. I'm stuck. I, I, I should die in prison, but I... Uh, oh, what are we going to do? We should tell her about this or what? <laughs> or what about the children? Yeah. Tonight at 6, it's on Fox. Awesome Fox family entertainment. What can I say? Yeah, here we go. Due to a high demand for qualified technicians, Red Wing Technical College is now enrolling students in accordion and concertina <laughs> I didn't repair. know that story about the hot dogs, Abby. You can learn the techniques of tuning, repairing, oh, that made building, my night. and that made playing. Me happy. Classes begin November 28th. Financial aid is still available. For more information on a career in accordion and <laughs> concertina <laughs> repair, what is that Red Wing Wal Technical College. You're just obsessed with the, with the accordion. Oh boy, Ninja Pizza! Watch out! That fake pizzeria is really a new shooting cannon! One drop of that stuff means goodbye, green guy! Whoa, where did that water blast come from? Flash down that pizza with this, dude! It's the turtle sewer cells are cannon to the rescue! Looks like the foot is all washed up! And there's Donatello, the storage shell turtle! Oh my his arsenal god! Of weapons hidden in his bag. Oh, I had that! I had that one! The one where you crack open their spine and you put weapons in it! From Playmates! Oh, that was a good one. Ever dream of managing your own big league baseball team? No. Producing Tigers baseball all-stars. I've never. Top series. Pick your starting oh, lineup. Oh, Batting lead. Sierra. Here are their real stats. Batting average .330. Make substitutes. Don't even play this real one. Superstars. Russell has been replaced by Urshider. Game Talk tells you every play. Jackson, home run. You make all the calls with Game Talk. The oh, that sounds like the least fun device electronics. ever. And now, back to the power team. I love it when a robot says the name Don Mattingly at me. That's my idea of fun. Never. Abby Synth, we're never getting a comeback for those tigers. They weren't good. They were hard. Like, you would have a better time closing your eyes and imagining playing a video game than actually playing those tigers. Alright, okay, this requires, I, I knew this was going to be a quirk-heavy episode. I knew this was going to be a quirk-heavy episode, so I actually have something prepared. So, of the, of the people in the power team, there's a basketball player from the game Double Dribble, which was a, an early arcade two-on-two -two basketball game. Uh, the cop guy is from NARC, which was that midway uh, side-scrolling shooter. Uh, the the barbarian guy is from Wizards and Warriors, but all of these are like standard action games. Quirk, the cool tomato with sunglasses, is from a Game Boy only Sokoban game. Uh, a Game Boy only Sokoban game, and what you have to understand, ignore ignore this, um, is that there was nothing to go on. There was nothing to go on. But it was a real game. It was licensed by Acclaim, who is the parent company. But this is what the game is. Like, it's an early box-pushing puzzle. And, 
Like, all this stuff was... I this was the game, and they built all this bullshit around... Like, okay. Okay, this is the video game world that he was stolen from. It's just a bunch of empty rooms with box pushing puzzles. It was Game Boy. That was the style at the time. That's what all these games look like. I'm sure it was a fine puzzle game, but it's just not... It's just... Like, this is a fine puzzle game. Sokoban is an established puzzle genre. Everybody loves it. But, okay, I guess, in theory, there was there was Quirk, our hero, uh, a spot in sunglasses, and then there was, like, a, 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 he has to rescue whatever the, whatever the fuck this is. And this goddamned cartoon show just assumed, assumed that we would immediately know these beloved characters, which I find, like, insane. I can't believe they actually thought that, like, People would be like, oh, yeah, that's everyone's favorite, the Quirk Girl. This is Quirk. And so, of course, the power team takes place. I don't even know if there are vegetable bad guys. I don't even think these characters are vegetables. I think the writers, <laughs> Chris, imagining the writers and animators silently staring at the Game Boy, feeling the dread of <laughs> what they're about to make. Uh, Lolo, yeah, Round Boy saves Round Girl with puzzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know where they got this asparagus guy and this squash man. I am like they were. This is just crap on crap. Tomato, you wait for me. Arthur, help me push this block through the turnstile. Right, Sammy. Quirk's not here to protect you anymore. We're gonna turn you into tomato sauce. <laughs> I've been hyperspinning through six floors of going up and eighteen rooms of heading out. I can't go any further. Then just give up, honey. It's time for you to be stewed and canned. Stewed and canned? No. I don't want to end up on a grocery store shelf. Work. Help. Help me. Tammy. No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'll save you, Tammy. I'm coming. Tammy. It's okay, Quirk. The character's Chill. name is Tammy. 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 I love you. Hey, hey, I'm not Tammy. Wake up, dude. What? Where am I? You're in the garage. You were having a nightmare. The subconscious mind has a tendency to release thoughts when it's at rest, which are sublimated during... Thank you, Dr. Max Force. No, 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 no! It wasn't a dream! It was too real! <laughs> Nightmares seem real sometimes. I know. For the record, uh, I didn't think I'd be feeling so much for this little tomato man who's uh, just desperate to be taken seriously and have his emotions validated. But unfortunately, he's just a comically round, short idiot and nobody is taking him seriously. I am empathizing highly with Quirk right now. Tammy's in danger. She's calling to me for help. Quirk, you don't understand. Dreams have a good are... one, Abby. No, you don't understand. Tammy and I have always been able to communicate with each other. She needs me, and I've got to go to her. Sending Maybe Quirk back to his game world is the most dangerous undertaking we've ever attempted. It's going to take split-second timing. We can be sure Mr. Big will show up for this monster truck exhibition. Johnny made sure it was broadcast on radio and TV. Mr. Big will zap you home. Remember where you enter your game world. After you rescue Tammy, you'll have to return to that spot if you want to get back to us. Just make sure you get my game pack from him. Otherwise, he'll destroy it once I'm zapped home, and you'll be minus one power team member. That is a lot of backstory. That is a lot of things to keep track of. The physics and dynamics of how they hop from video game worlds to, like... Does he need a specific game pack, or could they have solved all this trouble by walking into a uh, electronics boutique? The the tone is also like, why, why the sassy tomato guy getting all the melodrama in this one? There's a lot of very uh, questionable choices happening right now. Hey, 
Hay Mill Television. We're at the dunes outside of Millburg today for a special monster truck demonstration by Bigfoot. As you may remember, Bigfoot was the winner of the recent charity benefit monster truck contest That's at the Millburg Coliseum. Funko Land? Are there any Funko the Land veterans put here? on a show just for the residents of Millburg. What a truck! Well, Bigfoot's ready to commence, so we're going to begin with an exhibition of car crushing. I'm gonna crush you if you don't. I think his down. name is Quirk. I don't want him to see us until we're ready to warp him back to their game worlds. Spike, you keep him busy with me. <laughs> when the I cigar can up, see. I'll zap him so hard they'll be on permanent pause. Hit it, Joe. Uh, hit what, boss? Attack, you lunkhead. Here they come. Wait until they're almost on us. I'm powered up and ready to warp boom. I've been waiting a long time to punch that little tomato's game over button. Wish me luck, guys. I sure hope I like your game world, little buddy. Put me down, Tyrone. Wait. I love it. A DP zap. What? Whoa! Wait. They kept it. I, this happened in another episode. They're just using Mario sound effects. That can't be right. That can't be legal. How did they go this far not to acknowledge Nintendo and then just straight up use the warp pipe <laughs> sound effect? Yeah. What is. That is such a weird uh, just thing to let fly under the radar. Like, God. Also, how did they know that Mr. Big was gonna use Quirk's game cart? What if the, what if he was like, finally, I got you, and then they're just sucked into a basketball game with no way out? That like this is a terrible. This is no Ocean's Eleven style plan heist. Things are things are bad. Use your shielder, Max Force. My shield. Too late. Let's show those video game fiends a real monster truck demonstration, Bigfoot. That's a Big Ten Four, buddy. Wait, why are they chasing you? They wanted yeah, to get caught. On to us, boss. No. I thought they was just firing a 21-gun salute. I'm on a cigar grenade, Mr. Big. Give me some more. I got it. We warped two of them home. Let's get out of here. Wait, that was it? Now we must get Quirk's game pack back so he and Tyrone can return after their mission is accomplished. Boss, Max forced to one of those Bolo Rank gadgets at us. Bolo Rank. Yeah. Fuck he you. wants the game back. Fuck that. Well, the ain't gonna work. Not this time. The cigar conceit. The idea that he can only attack with cigar-based weapons. In control of this game. Now, Rummy Slutman, what are you talking about? The Wizards and Warriors guy looks exactly like Bobby. That is, this is Fabio the Animated Journeys. Over Quirk and Tyrone. This game pack's got a date at the city dump. <laughs> Why not just snap it in half? Why not? The it's... power team will be right back after these messages. Oh my, just dip it what in water. Making the peanut butter and jerry sandwich. You mean jelly. No, jerry. See, Welch's great jerry. New Welch's Tom and Jerry tumblers. Welch's yummy jams and jellies on the inside. God, I miss sugar. Funny Tom and Jerry's on the outside. God, I would eat a spoonful of... You can collect them all. Just if you can catch them. Oh, I get it. Jelly right Peanut now. butter and Jerry. New Welch's Tom and Jerry Fun, tumblers. White bread. You can collect oh, this all is, four. This, I'm more upset now. Then a jar full of jelly. Oh, that cartoon sandwich is the most delicious thing I've Let's ever looked party, at. Party, dude! 
The turtle's party wagon is ready to roll right over the foot plan. They may be tough, but the tenderizer will soften them right up. Wants the secret weapon. For the record, it did not dawn on me how upsetting the name party wagon is. It, it's, I don't want to enter the turtle's party wagon. Uh oh, the shredder has his own wheels and his foot. I don't want low really sugar bad. jelly. I want corn syrup. Mode. What next? Launch the launch! Whoa, the turtle's motorized pizza thrower will leave the foot with a bad taste in their mouths. If the guys don't eat all the ammunition. Talk about out to lunch. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. From Playmate. I've known from the beginning what I want out of life. The opportunity to care for others and freely help people. As a medical assistant, you'll learn the respect of the doctors and nurses you work with. Because without you, they couldn't do their job. Oh man, if there's one thing we've learned in 2021, it's how much respect and dignity uh, is in medical work. Especially on the administrative level. Oh boy, oh boy. And the quality of health care wouldn't be the same. The Medical Institute of Minnesota will give you the skills you need to conduct blood pressure tests, electrocardiograms, and take medical histories. Call MIM today at 924-3500. That's 924-3500. Imagine a brilliant future where your job is replaced by an Apple Watch in about 28 years. Feel the power of the warrior when the WWF debuts live at the Target Center Friday, October <laughs> yes. p.m. It's a six-man oh elimination my God. tag team match when the ultimate warrior teams with the Legion of Doom to face Hell Hell yeah! Other bouts include the Orient Express beating the Bushwhackers and the First Quick, along with Hexaw Jim Duggan. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was a lot to take in real fast, huh? Huh? The Warriors? Also, now that hold the the, the or oh, okay, we're gonna watch this again. Thirty five hundred. Feel the power of the warrior when the WWF. I gotta pause. At the Target Center, Friday, October nineteenth at eight p.m. It's a six-man elimination tag team match when the Ultimate Warrior teams with the Legion of Doom to face Demolition. Other bouts include the Orient Express beating the Bushwhackers and Earthquake. All right, when I was a kid, Earthquake was like the largest man you could possibly be like like earthquake was so enormous and like just an unbelievably fat man in the ring and now i see on a daily basis like eight people fatter than earthquake a day including myself sometimes that is that is surreal seeing what i would consider now a like reasonably fit guy with a little bit of a gut as like earthquake the incredibly heavy man Collide with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Tickets on sale at the And Hacksaw Jim Duggan, goddamn. The WWF, live October 19th. Oh, that would, God, take me back. Even with the racist Asian tag team. Take me back. 16-bit arcade graphics. You can't do this on Nintendo. I think I do remember that that when Earthquake killed Jake the Snake Robert Snake by Sigma. <laughs> Get Joe Montana free, Pat Riley free, Buster Douglas free, Super Monaco GP free. Earthquake had to change his name to what? Normal Man from Die Illinois. Buy 16-bit Genesis system between now and October 31st and get an extra game free. And now back to the power team. Oh boy. We got to get that game pack back. We're Quirk and Tyrone are going to lose. Permanently. Light Tremor, yes, Torgo. Oh man, where are we? On our way back to my game world. And while we're on the subject, why are you here? You didn't think I'd let you go back alone, did you? Thanks, Tyrone. But stick close. My game world's a lot different than yours. Here we go! What is this digital purgatory they're in? What the, I've, just metaphysically, what is this space? Are they either in the real world or they're in the game cartridge? What is this, what is this middle dimension? Is this like, I don't know. Is this the Nintendo? Are they in the Nintendo right now? I think too hard about this stuff. I agree. I, you're right. I should, I should let it just happen. I'm home. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's mark the wall where we came in, like Max 4 said. What? Now to find your gal, Tammy. I don't 
get it. There's just that little block on the other side. The that... only thing that'll move it is a block. Give me a hand. They're just standing around doing a block pushing puzzle. They had to animate this. This is insane. Johnny, Mr. Big's heading for the city dump with Quirk's game pack. We'll never catch him in time. There's only one chance. I've got to try and contact Quirk. Quirk! Help! It's Tammy! Ah! 1990. This is solidly from 1990. You're not gonna do her any good if you fall in that hole. We gotta go back and get that block we used at the turnstile. It's the only thing that can fill up this hole. Oh, yeah, Ultimate Warrior was a piece Quirk, of shit. Tyrone, do you read me? You're weak, man. Speak louder. Mr. Big still got Quirk's game pack. He's trying to destroy it. You have to stop him. You take care of Mr. Big. I'll handle this block. How are you gonna do that, little red? When Tammy's in danger, huh, I get all minute. powered up. I'm sorry, I I missed that. You're weak, man. Speak louder. That's fascinating. Mr. Big still got Quirk's In 1990. Pack. He's trying to destroy it. You have to stop. Like, it, whoever drew that, like, this isn't a cell phone. This is just some, like, futuristic superhero communication device. But it's the exact size and dimensions of a smartphone. I, I don't know. That just, that's funny to me. That, I, that, huh. Huh. Like, the people who drew that would have no idea what a smartphone even was. They would not even have the conception of a smartphone. And yet, there it is. There it is right now, like any other. Like, it fits exactly. Hmm. Huh. I don't have a joke. I don't have a twist. I'm just, I'm just tickled. I'm tickled by this confluence of uh, time and space. Stop them. You take care of Mr. Big. I'll handle this block. How are you going to do that, little red? When Tammy's in danger, I get all powered up. What? Uh. What? Uh. All right. Well, no way am I going to get stuck in this game world. I got to put Mr. Big on pause. Tyrone already immediately regretting his decision. Yeah, just chuck it. Just chuck it. You're Hold literally it right holding. There. Or I nuke Quirk's game pack. Just chuck it. You're fine. You have the advantage. Put the game pack down, Mr. Big. It's me you wanted. Even back in our game world, it was always me you wanted. That's right, you goody goody. But the ante's gone up. Here's the deal. You let me zap you and Kuros back to your game worlds, and I'll toss Quirk's card in the big foot. That's a lousy deal, what? nicotine breath. What? What? Quirk game. What? What? Come on. Come on. Come on. I know. God, what? Come on. This, I, just baseline stakes. Just get this. If you're gonna lay out weird rules, if you're gonna lay out weird rules, at least stick to them a little. No, you have to. If you gotta leave the game world, you gotta. Maybe he ran back and just stuck his hand in the hole. Nicotine breath was a uh, good zing. That was a good zing. Um, that's uh, that's uh, blah blah blah. <laughs> Uh, Rummy, we are like five episodes away from Mr. Big just having a gun duct taped to a cigar. And he's just like, yeah, it's my special uh, Havana Glock. And then he just shoots him in the gut. Chris, you make a good point, and I'm scared that you're right. Ah! Okay, Dr. Jock. You want to go one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Big? You got it! Oh my god, please have tearaway pants. <laughs> you better be stuck up on bonus lives, fella! <laughs> 
More block, more just actual block puzzles. Oh, now he can bounce over the walls. It's Quirk! I thought he was whooped out of him. Guess he was wrong, Sammy. I also just realized the implication as we switch to uh, digital only uh, releases is that the entire power team has been destroyed. There's like one member of the power team who is uh, still on a collector shelf in a uh, in the background of a gamer YouTube video. And he just is like, God damn it. God damn it. I can't believe it went like this. <laughs> Friend Zach, you're in trouble now. God damn, that tomato is way easy, too sexy. Uh, easy. We were just making a joke. <laughs> hey, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he just killed that gourd. Oh, are they gonna fuck? Yo, Tammy, I love you. Are, are they gonna kiss with I their big you weird too, mouths? Quirky. Me. Shh. I know. You've got to go. Not forever. But I got some unfinished business to take care of. I understand. Wow. I just want you to know that when you get back, I'll be here waiting for you. Also, our reality is a lie. There's an outside world where products of uh, microchips and uh, tiny cartridges on a Japanese... A uh, hardware manufacturer's video game platform. Bye! I'm through playing with you, Miss. Love you, honey. Reality is a lie. Later. See ya. It's a short, fat, and ugly. <laughs> yeah, it's a good piece of character animation. That was fun. Amazing. Oh, right, I forgot. It's just a basketball. You know, Tyrone, I'm kind of glad you brought me to this stinking game world. Because it gives me a chance to zap you back to yours. Wait. Wait, no. You can't zap someone into a video game in a video game. The whole... Wait, no, wait, wait this is... This is like quantum video game physics. This is some string theory math happening on this screen. <laughs> I swear to God, Mr. Big is going to create a black hole that will envelop the known universe. <laughs> Boom, we have to go deeper. Hey. Whoa, 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 wait! Were you saying something about my game world, Chubbo? Chebo. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, I was just telling Tyrone what a nice game world you got here, Quirk. You threatened to... <laughs> he was seconds away from literally murdering him and everyone he cared about. And he's still just like, hey, you chubby loser. You big ding-a-ling. <laughs> uh, you're squooshing me, you rotten chama. Uh... <laughs> I mean, tomato. You know, Big, I'm gonna cut you a break. I'm not gonna pick up this block and squish you with it. I always told the guys you were all right, Quirk. I'm just gonna squish you through the wall so we can get back to Earth. Mm. What? If it takes me a hundred bonus lives, I'm gonna get ya, ya lousy What? I thought the hole was important. Oh my god, he's curb stopping. Shit got real, man. Oh man, Quirk is gonna really like have to go to therapy after this one. 
Give us Quirk's game pack, or by the book of Sindarin, I'll... Ah! What? Why did it flop out like tofu? What kind of... What? Get out of here! Wow. Well, I rescued Cammy Tomato, and we made it back. But Mr. Big still got our game. Oh, hey, Andrew. Didn't hey, notice you two out of walked three in. Nice to see you. Happy you're back from the UK. Video Power will be right back. Which car would you rather be in? This one? Or this one? Days of Thunder from Mindscape for your NES. Thank God. Thank God I can think about video games instead of Warning. be with my intact family. Immature and very foolish. We recommend you try it at home. Paperboy from Mindscape for your NES and Game Boy 2 at Toys R Us. It's accordion time. High demand for qualified technicians, Red Wing Technical College is now enrolling students in accordion and concertina repair. In only Whoa, nine accordion months, and concertina? Sign me up. Repairing, building. Oh, Andrew, and you got engaged. Classes begin November 20th. Congratulations, man. Aid is still available. Oh, that's really nice. A career in accordion and concertina I can't repair, believe call someone Red that Wing watches Technical my stream College, is capable of being loved. I mean, I guess we it's possible. We give theory. you lots of money. Scrap Way metal to beat the odds, buddy. Minneapolis will pay you top dollar on the spot for your scrap metal. Aluminum, copper, brass, scrap steel, wow. unreal, even old batteries from your home or business. Scrap metal processors will buy your scrap metal. Protect our environment and make money in the process. Wow. Can't move it? Scrap metal processors will pick it up. Call scrap metal processors in Minneapolis, 377-6663. We give you cash. Jesus, that's dying. Think of quietly! The foot are about to ambush the turtle's sewer place. But thanks to the turtle's periscope, it's no surprise. Take cover! The foot are attacking with their sewer ball. Watch out, turtles, or you'll wind up in the recovery room. Oh no, retro mutagen ooze. The shredder's up to his old tricks. And speaking of going up, the turtles are taking the elevator to street level to make a call on shredder using their private line. Reach out and crush someone. Ah, seeing all the well wishes in the chat for Andrew is really heartwarming. Hey, mate. This is Fox 29's Kids Calendar. October 19th through the oh 31st, God. the Anoka Knights of Columbus will sponsor a haunted house at the Anoka County Fairgrounds. I Call would give so much money. Sunday, October 28th, the Minnesota Zoo and Highland so Super much money will sponsor if I could a Halloween spooktacular. Go to the Minnesota Call Zoo, Zoo. Hotline at 432 Halloween spectacular. And also on the 28th, attend a Pumpkin Heads workshop at the oh. China Art Center. Can God, could you imagine? Call 929-4555. Wait, caring about each other? That, that doesn't that And right. now, back to video power. Ah! Well, that power team is just too intense for me, man. <laughs> they just continue to amaze me. And speaking of amazing, there's a pretty amazing... What was that? I mean, honestly, after watching that episode, I also would primally scream, but uh, out of terror, less than hype. Hold on, I need to hear this. I think they actually, if this was the first time he actually saw the cartoon show he was hosting, and he had an existential crisis. That's what that scream is to me. And now, back to video power. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that power team is just too intense for me, man. They just continue to amaze me. And speaking of amazing, there's a pretty amazing game that a lot of you guys have been playing lately. I think it deserves a special video power edge. Oh, boy. Today, Video Power gives you the edge for Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES, and it's loaded with impossible challenges. But where there's a challenge, there's also a solution. Super Mario Bros. 3 is not full of impossible challenges. It's actually one of the best games, in my opinion, in terms of, like, difficulty to, uh, <laughs> to, to, challenge, to, to, like, playability and challenge. I don't know. I think, it's, I think it's one of the most perfectly balanced games of that era. But what do I know? Tell me the hot tip, Johnny Power. 
in World 3, Level 7. Here's how to get to Coin Heaven. You have to avoid <laughs> the spike balls that Spike is trying to bond with. Keep moving. Don't get up on the cloud platform. Make the magic block appear. Then spring off it, and you'll find yourself in Coin Heaven. <laughs> coin Heaven. Right all the way to the end of the world, collecting all the free coins you possibly can. And what about some of those whacked out new enemies you have to face? Pretty tough, huh? Well, maybe this will help. You know that fire snake in the desert? Just pound him with a raccoon tail, and you'll be safe. And in World 2, Level 3, there's a great tip that'll get you a bunch of coins and a it's one- It's not a raccoon, it's a tanuki. God! Pyramid. Jump from the lower magical note block, diagonally onto the three invisible blocks, and then up to the switch block in the sky. This will give you a giant load of coins, and don't forget to pick up the free one-up. Last tip. Here's how to escape the arch in World 5, Level 1. You'll need to be a raccoon Mario here, so you can sky up and thump this switch block. Grab all 38 silver coins in each number three that appears under the arch. Now fly up, break the blocks, and you're free. These I miss that music. These are just a few tips to help you improve your Mario 3 scores. I'll be coming back to this game again. But for now, practice what you learned today and get the video power edge. He probably did. Well, this show really blew by in a hurry. Tomorrow, our World Series Week feature continues with a full review of Tommy Lasorda Baseball. Tommy Lasorda Baseball, a classic. And talk about Air Fortress and Double Dragon 2. And remember, send in your pictures, drawings, tips, and hints to the Video Power Bulletin Board. I'm done for now. That's Video Power. Mario. Video Power, P.O. Box 896, Madison Square Station, New York, New York. 101. What if I sent fan art of Johnny Power to that P.O. box? What would happen? Wh who would receive it? Would they feel obligated to, like, find the old owner of the P.O. box? I, it's, it's just, I, I, it's a, I feel like I would instigate a series of events with lasting consequences just by sending a crude drawing of Stevie Piskoski. Johnny Arcade? I kept calling him Johnny Power. What do I know? Anyway, another amazing tale of gibberish and bad mafiosos on the power team. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's keep it going with an episode of our favorite dinosaur riding uh, weirdos. Uh, not dino saucers. These are dinosaur riders. A brave team of aliens from an alternate world that asked, Hey, what if guns on dinosaurs? I think that's going to be fun. Uh, you guys sharing uh, video game difficulty memories. That's neat. Oh, yeah, we're definitely doing vampire. But we'll do, we're doing vampires next. I, sw I promise you. I promise you. Years of peaceful existence on the distant planet Valoria. Questar and his people were forced into battle. The power of their step crystal ripped a hole in the fabric of time, sending them backward to pre- Step crystal still funny. Unaware that at the same still moment, funny. the evil Emperor Krulos was plotting to capture the step crystal with his own grotesque Rulon forces. And so the battle continues in a new place in time with Dino Riders. Baby Pooch and more female riders. Let's show them our new stuff. Loop de loop. Now roll out the barrel. I couldn't have done it better in a souped up hovercraft. Are you paying attention down there? We're with you, gangster. Wow, I wish I was with them. That looks like a blast. Uh, no offense, pal. It's just a young star's incredible. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet, lad. What's this? Over. Look, Serena, no hands. Impressive, young star. Young star. Cool. cool. But not too bright. We haven't completed stress testing those new saddles, young star. Oh, my God. That's uh, Cam What's-His-Face, the Leonardo voice. Up here all day. Whoa! Oh. Young star! Hang on, hotshot, we've got you! 
Stick around, young star. We'll give you some real flying lessons. Young star, that was amazing. Errol saved your life. He's the greatest, isn't he? Big deal. I could have done the same for him in half the time. I heard that, young star. But don't worry. You won't have to. I know what I'm doing. Uh oh. This is that? terrible. Is that thing as big as it looks from up here? Bigger! That's the biggest pteranodon I've ever seen! <laughs> Good point about Toastar. Uh, finally, this beast will make Krulos proud and the young star dead meat. What? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Air power Welcome superiority. All of you to Dino Riders Flight School. Now, the day may soon come when our best defense will be our air support. Ah, uh, Ace, I don't see why we're wasting our time with this fancy schmancy air stuff. Ace is the Just pilot. Just get me a good solid Taurosaurus to strap my pants to. Just like to. Turret is I'll the, make is, uh, me uh, the whiny one. This flying stuff is for the birds. And Gunnar. Gunnar, the, we're not Gunner. asking you to become a pilot, but a little... Not even trying to make it a name. Literally just calling them each other by their roles. Glider. Turret. Gunman. Sword guy. With flight equipment and tactics just may come in handy someday. Gunner, why don't you give me a hand with this demonstration? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the saddles are designed to hold you securely. <laughs> Unless you're doing something dumb like flying upside down. Arrow, I can fly the pants off you and you know it. That's not what I saw today. Arrow, young star. God, I the, think the, the sexual tension is a far more important than your private discussion. Which one of them's the uh, UK and which one's the lasers mounted on each wing, coupled with the maneuverability of these birds, gives you the opportunity to get in, fire, and get out. It's a great combination. Yeah, well, I gotta hand it to you. They were literally placeholder good. names, and when it was time for the writing staff to be like, all right, but what do we actually call them? They were like, uh, <laughs> nothing. With these flying beasts under my control, the Dino Riders are doomed. Patience with those sniveling dino riders. I have developed a plan, Lord Krulos. Allow me. An attack from two sides would surely leave the dino riders weak and confused. No, Rasp. I don't want the dino riders weak and confused. I want them destroyed. And for that, I need to attack from the air. But, but for an air attack, we would need... Hey, good news! I kidnapped a bunch of weird purple pterodactyls. Uh, I am pleased to report, I have Brain Box, the largest pteranodon on the planet. He has untold power. Ah, excellent. You see, Rasp, Hammerhead brings me answers, not problems. Daymok, I... It Hammerhead. went by so fast I couldn't Rasp. comment on it, but it was very weird mammoth how they were using a gravy done attack as planning my lord, analogy. But there is more. My men have scoured the planet. They've captured all the other Pteranodons we could find. Hammerhead, prepare your troops for a demonstration. I want to see what my new Air Force can do. Consider it done, Lord Krulos. God, Krulos is built like Lord a brick house. God, I just want to rest my head against his broad chest. Who knows what he's got on, going on under the space suit, but... Yeah. Listen, what other cartoon show are you going to have an army of ha of hammerhead sharkmen uh, breathing air with zero difficulty 
commanding an army of pterodactyls with lasers strapped to their wings. Nobody, nobody else could even dare besides Dino Riders. <laughs> God. Ah, and there's Antor. <laughs> Beloved favorite character, Antor. An impressive demonstration, Hammerhead. Impressive indeed. Keep an eye on Hammerhead and report his every move back to me. I'll not permit that leadhead to make me look foolish in front of Kronos. Yes, it's settled. Tonight we will attack the, the way... Dino Riders by air. Prepare for battle. Before the night is out, it's okay, the so Dino Riders clearly... will be no more. The B-plot is Hammerhead and Rasp's relationship mirrors the competitive How's it nature going, lad? between oh, Ace and Youngstar. But and, and I are going and out to they're going to learn to work trees. together Our supplies through the power well. of not uh, being Terry? hideous monster people. Oh, great. Looks like you had quite a haul today. Ketz and I are going out to get in some target practice. Want to come along, Serena? Hold on, young star. You're supposed to help us make another run to the tar pits today. Boring. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. My target practice is a lot more important. We got to go to the tar star. pits. You know, the dinosaur chores. outside the compound are crucial to our defense against Krulos. They're almost done. We should finish them. OK, have it your way. I can always go out later and rip up the sky. Last one of the tar pits is a rotten egg. Yes! <laughs> Who knows, old pal? Maybe we'll get lucky and surprise some slimy Rulon search party. What? Happy hunting, young star! Thanks! Thanks a lot! Young Star. Project. He should have been here by now. I don't know. Probably out playing on some thermal current. He'll catch up. <laughs> he always does. Well, there's work to do. Okay, let's fill him up. Gotta get these buckets of earth. Oh, food. this for a lousy bucket. Wait, I got an idea. <laughs> Okay, buddy, let's make up the lost time. Here we go! Why? Why? That's the way, fella. Easy now. Here's another load, Gunner. Real good, Serena. Well, if Krulos gets any wild ideas tonight, he's gonna find it very sticky going when he hits this tar. There must be no mistake. Oh my god, is this like an analogy for the Maginot line? Reeves, military expert Reeves. Are they doing a weird, like, World War II thing? Where it's like, don't worry, we uh, placed a easily avoidable uh, land uh, ob ob obstruction. They could never use uh, some kind of flying dinosaur like the same kind we do. Air, air attack? What? That's gibberish. Oh, weird. God, this, this show goes places. Yeah, Reeves gets it. Reeves, Reeves, Reeves confirms my theory. Attack. We must make Hammerhead and his air armada seem useless. Tonight, <laughs> Lord Krulos will realize that I am his superior weapon. Oh, my God. And after I destroy Youngstar, the precious step crystal will be mine. Ah, uh, finally, a TV show brave enough to highlight the eons long rivalry between hammerhead sharks and cobras. Natural enemies like the cobra and the mongoose, or the cobra and other kinds of snakes, or the cobra 
and the Hammerhead Shark. Classic enemies. One more load of tar will just about do it. Coming up, Gunner! It's about time you showed up, hotshot. What took you so long, young star? We were worried about you. Yeah, with all your fancy flying, you should have been here long ago. Oh you my want God. fancy flying? Stand back! Ketsuko Atlas and I'll park this tar right on target. No, young star! Wait, did he call his thing Quetzalcoatl? I'll park this tar right I'm worried about you. Yeah, with all your Oh, that's an actual flying. kind of dinosaur. You should have been here long ago. You want fancy flying? Stand back! Ketsuko Atlas and I'll park What's this tar Atlas? right on target. I no, don't think star. they were making... Don't try it! Look out below! Overboy. <laughs> Eat shit, young star. <laughs> A great idea, young star. You really get into your work. <laughs> Come so on, I actually on. haven't uh, played a Mighty Max episode since uh, that first maxi waxy. Ready, Lord Krulos, for your victory over the dinosaur. There's time after vampires. I might throw it on. I will lead the ground forces myself. Hammerhead will lead the airstrike. You will assist him, Rasp. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. It is my wish, Rasp. And you can begin now! And it is my wish that you fall off your monstrous bird! If anyone's falling, snake face, it'll be you! Amazing. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, now that I think about it, how do they know the names for dinosaurs? Like, dinosaurs, their names are all references to different, like, uh, weird things that the people who discovered the fossils got to... Like, there's a dinosaur named after Mark Knopfler, the musician <laughs> from the Dire Straits. Quetzalcoatlus is named after the Mayan, the Aztec uh, bird god. Like, they shouldn't, they should just be like, yep, that's a flappy boy. And there's one of those three spiky top guys. I sure do love big lizard number three. They're from a different planet, Torgo. They're from a literal, like, psychic kumbaya hippie planet. They have no idea. Oh, I'd like to see Arrow do that, huh, fella? Hey. Let's try a little low-level flying between the red rocks and the sulfur pools. Onward! We will crush the Dino Riders once and for all! God, it must have been so annoying to animate all these dinosaurs. Whoa, fella! Looks like Krulos couldn't sleep tonight. We'd better warn the others. A Dino Rider! Shoot him down! Destroy him! It will be my pleasure, Lord Krulos. At last, young star. This time, there will be no escape. It's Hammerhead. I should have known. Not to take the door. There's no place you can hide, young star! I should have known a giant hammerhead shark flying a dinosaur with guns on it who can exist on a, in the la, on outside of the water was going to come after me. Damn it, stupid young star. The signs were all there. Who's hiding, fish breath? Come and get me! Oh, that was a neat shot. Someone worked overtime for that one little behind the back shot. Ah, you stupid beast! <laughs> well, Hamrad ought to be more careful where he's flying. Now, let's see about getting Wait. back to camp before Krulos. I <laughs> can <laughs> Oh, I gotta see that again. I oh, that was beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, the little noise he makes. Everything. Everything about that. About getting back to camp before Krulovs. <laughs> about getting back to camp before Krulovs. <laughs> about getting back to camp I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Last time. <laughs> so long, Dino Rider. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm choking. I'm dying. Oh. Oh, amazing. Oh. Oh, why did that why did that tickle me on a cellular Serena! level? Serena! Errol's taking me flying. Wanna come? Oh, I don't know, lad. Serena may not be ready to fly with us. Boy, that sounds like a challenge, Arrow. Oh, oh my god, I just realized the theme of this episode is toxic masculinity, and it's the two female writers. Literally, I'm sure they were just shitting on the other dudes in the production staff. Like, they, they were two annoying guys trying to one-up each other on, like, on which dinosaurs should have which guns. And they just wrote their, like, dumb, petty arguing in the uh, script. That has to be it. Only if you want it to be. Okay, you're on, Flyboy. Serena, be careful. Don't worry, Grandfather. I'll be just fine. You don't sense trouble, do you, Mind's Eye? I'm not sure, Questa. Maybe it's nothing more than an old man's fear. Hmm. I don't believe that, my friend. Your feelings have a habit of coming true. Uh, R.I.P. to all the kids that desperately wanted a Dino Rider toy uh, in for their uh, Hanukkah, Christmas, whatever, and they got Mind's Eye, the feeble old man. Because that was, that was like, hey, I got that thing you wanted. They're like, oh, my God, I can't, a quest star. And they're like, nope, it's a feeble old man. Oh, what's that? I hope this is only a nightmare. Only one way out of this mess, fella. Um, yes, yes, that was a dinosaur that lived in lava. The plot demanded that, uh, for some reason, they had to invent an unkillable immortal dinosaur that could withstand the molten rock billowing from the Earth's core. Don't know why. Don't, didn't need to happen. There could have, you could have written anything. You could have literally done any single thing besides, oh yeah, also there used to be a dinosaur that lived in lava. But wait, who am I? Who am I to question? Right, attack! He's dead ahead! Attack! Attack! Look at that fancy flying. <laughs> Yay, good going! You're a natural, Serena. You fly like you and your Pteranodon are one. <laughs> we are! Molten Sulfur is not, is still bad. Look! That's still a weird thing to live in. Quistar! Dino Riders. Rule on attack! Man your battle stations! You man. Sorry, Gunner, but we're drafting you. Yeah? Do I have a choice? There's your answer. Krulos is making this an air battle. Wow. That's some real Red Baron ass. Fuck! Well, that dinosaur just got shot through the neck. Next time, pick on somebody your own size. Pretty fancy flying for a ground jockey. Thanks. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Now that was fancy flying and shooting. Wow. Oh my God. Oh. They're just literally doing blue laser versus red laser shit. God, the 80s were just a beautiful time. It was all blue laser versus red laser. That was, that's all I needed. 
Let me thank God. Thank God Star Wars came along and let us know that color coded lasers were important. <laughs> Eye. There's just too many of them! Don't think of their numbers, boy. Concentrate. Use the strength within you. I did it! I did it! Thank you, Mind's Eye. Just believe in yourself, my son. What? Serena, help! <laughs> oh, God! Land! Down Pteranodon! Ah! Thank you, Dino Mommy! Hold on, lad! Play dead, Pteranodon! Another Dino Rider bites the dust! You're safe now, lad! And so is my pterodactyl! Thanks, Serena! Victory is almost <laughs> mine! I can taste it! And it will be all the sweeter knowing I've destroyed Twister! Destroy him! Ah, damn. Maybe I should make things a bit sticky for him. Move to the tar pools, Doc. Hey, Prolos! Don't hide in the jungle like a coward! Face me! Coward? Watch your words, Questar! For you'll be eating oh. them soon enough! Stupid beast, move! The idea, the, the the conceit that they didn't see that massive open pool of black sludge, and re oh my god! They will not lose this battle. <laughs> Krulos will never learn. Out of my way! What are your orders, Almighty Krulos? Get the step. I will not leave here without it! Consider it done, Lord Krulos. Beware, Questar. I will have my vengeance. <laughs> I'm sorry. Move, you stupid I'm sorry. Done, Lord Krulos. I will not leave here. All right, everybody. I know what you're thinking. Hey, did this show need a uh, weird three-frame animation of a random monster humping his his uh chair no no we didn't With and yet consider it done and lord yet. krulos beware Questar. there there he is i will have my Just vengeance slow steady pumps stupid animal <laughs> looks like that guy was putting the cock in cockpit thank you everybody i'll be here all night give a don't forget to donate to the flesh wife office chair fund Ladies and gentlemen, I ya cha 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 cha. Krista, I sense the step is in danger. I understand. <laughs> now, Heatherhead will see who wins Krulos's favor. I'll take that. No, the step must be mine! Fight him! Not You're a cobra! Time, You're a giant cobra man! Mine! Find me that crystal is mine! I'll die before I let you get away with the <gasps> step! Then prepare to die, Quista! I wouldn't do that if I were you, fish eyes! Ah, and you die too! Lips. This time I will not fail to destroy you. Stay put, Longstar. Let me make your end quick and painless. <sighs> A little teamwork might save Hey, hail yourself, M board. Count me. Also, thank you for the uh, two dollar super chat, Rummy Slutman. It helps immensely. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Lost the step crystal. 
And whose fault was that? Kunos will hear of your failure. You haven't won yet, Quest. Wait, how'd they get out of that? I will return! Well, all of us Not almost bad flying, died. Young star. You're pretty good yourself, Arrow. Gunner, how about joining the test pilots? We sure could use you. Yeah, thanks anyway. I'm sticking to four-legged dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, and leave the flying to the likes of him. Wow. All right. All right. That was Dino Riders, a cautionary tale of, um, I don't quite know. I, I genuinely do not understand what we just watched. Okay. Oh, you know what? We learned some things. Uh, don't uh, be overly competitive with your peers. Support each other in your common goals. Uh, even uh, high-flying hotshots and uh, weirdly passive-aggressive older men can get together. Um, if you uh, fill a big pool with tar, it'll come in handy if your enemies are literally the dumbest people you've ever met. Um, uh, uh, trust frail old men when they watch a monster. Howdy, Jer. Oh, hey, Sinistro. Happy to see you. Uh, won't stay in the stream too long, so I'm about to eat and then go see a friend, but wanted to at least drop in for a bit. Ah, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, champion. Champion of RuneScape. Sinistro hanging out in the chat. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, God. It's already 720. Uh, we better get to vampires before uh, we run out of time. Because as I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm pulling the plug at 8 to go catch Holden and Jackie and MJ. Do a watch along uh, for Cats, the uh, weird musical uh, that refuses to release the butthole cut, even though we know it exists. We know it's out there. Just release the butthole cut, God damn it! Uh, there's a nice chunk of people still watching. For those of you who don't know, Vampires was a uh, po weird attempt at combining early CG with a Power Rangers-like live-action teen comedy segment. Um, and uh, also the worst writing and acting and animation you have ever seen on a fully produced mainstream television show in your entire life. So let's get it up. Um, as always, uh, you're still pimping the chair fund. We're so close, people. Look at we're, we're the, look at that! If that little bar goes green, my my beloved wife will finally have a place to rest her sweet, beautiful round butt, and that's uh that's a thing that's a goal we can all agree with, right? That's something we can work towards. But uh, without further ceremony, here we go. Oh God, I'm scared! I'm scared! I'm genuinely scared. hey! Oh, <laughs> it's a lore drop! A lore drop from Reeves. Enjoy your Zoa, Reeves. Enjoy your Zoa. Van Hilsing had his glory day at the Battle of Corral Bamoral uh, when he took control of a careening APC after the driver had been killed. He pushed clear through the NBA front and with the troops in the APC secured a foothold that won them the day. That's, that's just as viable of a backstory as we've heard so far. take on human-like life. The vampires suck the gas from innocent cars to feed their need for speed and drain the planet of all its fuel. Only four teenagers, transformed by the media, stand between the vampires and a world sucked dry and running on empty. Part team, part car, all hero. The motivators must fight the night to save the day. So check your fear and get in gear. The vampires are here. I'm not ready. I'm genuinely, my body is not ready. Hey, I'm telling you, Toaster, this is a no-lose plan. Oh, oh man, we, 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 this will definitely get us ahead with Dracula. Ahead? <laughs> I'm already ahead, if you know my meaning. <laughs> Shh, keep your tank shut. Ooh. The motivators will hear us. 
the series creators are the are the, uh, the writers on this. So I feel like this episode, we're going to get as pure of a vampire's experience as the creators intended. This is them just really trying to like let people know this is what it's about. Don't get your toast in an uproar, Frenchie. They can't hear anything but that music. <laughs> That's what you call it. I call it luck. Come, come, flush a tooth sweet. Let's get what we came for and go. Now, where is that sweet? Oh, wow. Where is it? Where is it? Where? They couldn't animate them in the live action studio. The master is going to love this. And love us, too. Or they did? But they didn't? Mother is heavy. What was that first person POV shot? That was so weird. Diet soda. Speaking of diet. Are you carrying your weight? Ha, Diet Soto. We did a tier list. A grip on your lip and it was a fascinating stream. Go so check the vibes. Wait till the master sees what we have brought him. Pull your weight, will you? You just wait one minute. I am doing the best I can. Oh, oopsie. Hey! Oh, pardon him. <laughs> I popped and drove. Well, quit the patent and apply yourself. You're an appliance, aren't you? I think they just love puns. I think they just wanted to write as many puns as possible. Luke. Yo, Picasso, those paints have got to be mixed by now. Pedal to the metal, man. Let's go. I want to get these colors just right. That's cool. But on the other hand, we've got 55 items left to finish up on this heap tonight. And there's only three of us until Rev gets back. Yeah, so let's go, man. Let's go. Your killer detailing is going to kill us if you don't get going. Oh man, get out of my trunk. I'm concentrating. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, Muto, kudos for your artistic integrity, man. I salute you, really, I do. But the owner of this soy big was going to bust my hubcaps first, first thing in the morning, morning if this car isn't ready. Man, 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 man. Why did you wait until the last minute to get this car fixed anyway? Oh, uh, well, I kind of misplaced it. Don't worry, man. We'll get it all done. That's right, because we the motivators, baby. Yeah. Yeah, we'll start shifting from Picasso to Van Gogh with the emphasis on go. I just want to get it perfect, that's yeah, all. Forget perfect, amigo. I'd set for just plain done. You guys just don't understand artistic genius. Oh, well, maybe that's because we're yet to actually meet one. Uh, you this know? guy. Uh -huh. That's right, that's right. Do the disc, bro. But I do the distance. Slow and steady wins the race. Would you like to die in my Frankenstein balloon? Would you oh, like silence! Also, can't you see the master is brooding? What is disturbing us tonight, master? Look about you. Are we to settle for this? We need a new plan to vanquish those who stand in our way. Our enemies elude us too easily. If only we could infiltrate, then we could obliterate. Whoa, heads up! Voila! What is this? A little gift. A tasty offering. ta -da! What is a tada? It's fuel. We have seen the motivators drink it. Fuel? Just what kind of vehicle is this anyway? There are no wheels! It's the latest model! <laughs> I'm sorry, I am so... F I, I am dumbfounded by the proceedings right now. If you, we've, had, we've had global... We've had a nuclear winter. We've had tailpipe snake monsters. We've had child marriages. But if you were like, hey, 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 Papa Jared, what is the one thing that will never happen on an episode of Vampires? I'd be like, well, there won't be a weird shenanigan where a talking toilet uh, gives a soda machine to Dracula and then they make jokes about how the teens use soda as fuel. I'd be like, well, that's too silly for this show. It's too much. These are the uh, these are the adult writers just processing how much jolt cola they go through and cocaine to write this show. I am, I I can't. We've already this, is, this has already been going on for five minutes.
It's not any sort of vehicle. It is but a receptacle for human fuel. fuel. Allow me to demonstrate. In these multiple canisters, you will find a liquid that humans consume. Humans drink this. If you pop that little tap there. <laughs> So, okay, this well, is you. that little tap there. <laughs> this. If you pop that little tap there. <laughs> so. Well, that's going to be in my memory when I die, as I lay on my deathbed. I, there's going to be a lot of memories. There's going to be a lot of things. But at, at least at one point, as the DMT floods my medulla oblongata, I'm going to remember. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, this is human fuel. Well, this is vampire fuel. What? Nurse, a can opener. <laughs> I'd like to donate to my local human fuel bank. What? Now, what do you suppose would happen if some unsuspecting human was to drink this little concoction? Oh, now I get it! <laughs> One Wait. sip, and the poor sap would be ours, possessed by the fuel of Dracula! <laughs> That's right! We need enough for every last can! Don't spill a drop, it's time! To dispense... What? With the motivator, take this bear. Wait, but the motivators are already vampires. They're already half car monster people. I don't. I. This is. I got this. However, this plans out, it's gonna be dumb. Average dispenser back where you got it. I'm sure there's some thirsty fool up there in need of some refreshment. <laughs> I did love the line delivery on refreshment. Oh, 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 look out! Hurry, hurry! Give me a break! Traffic was rough! Oh, this is gonna be premium! First, I need to fuel up. I need a solar cola. Come on, man! Oh, no, 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 let the, uh, the, the genius get his soda. Maybe you'll get a sugar rush and finally put on some speed. Yeah, that'll be nice. I'll be back. Well, don't take all day or night. <laughs> What's that? Who's there? Oh, I forgot about the tricycle thing. He's coming. Keep in watch, huh? Good boy. Wow. Oh, man. Busted again? Come on. Pippa, I was thinking about the Tylenol murders, not gonna lie. I can't believe our brains went to the same place. <laughs> Jesus. Whoa! <laughs> stuff has got kick! <laughs> Man, they must have added some high-octane sugar. Oh my god, it's just it's just bang energy. Mega sugar! Tracula invented bang energy drink. I don't believe it. I can't. This is this is literally the origin story of America's favorite uh, toxic fuel. Hi, Rev. Yo, if somebody's got a free hand, I can use some help like immediately. You can help me when he gets back. If he gets back, man, that boy's slow. All right, kiddies, you want fast? Fast. Hey, that door has sentimental value, you know. Put a wrench in it, old man. Hey! Wait. Excuse me, amigo. Dude, put the brakes on. Get out of my way. I got a rush job to do. What is happening? <laughs> also, you don't apply car paint with a spray can. Is anyone else getting the uh, caffeine pill episode of Saved by the Bell vibes right now? I'm so excited. I'm so scared. Satisfied? Good. Later. 
That's a pretty rad fast. design. What's up? Where are you going? I'm drained. I'm gonna go put in idle for a while. I'm going home. Later, blood nuts. Wait, home? Dude, what was all that are we... about? How'd he do that? Yo, I have never heard him talk like that before. Yo, I've never seen him move like that before. This is literally the first time in the entire series they've remotely acknowledged that these radical teens have actual families or homes or existence outside of this junkyard. Are they actually going to film in a house? Is he even going to make it to the front gates? I'm captivated. I'm in. Give me the lore. Man, he's popping his question or something. Man, he's stuck in oh, shit. We got, a, we got a backstory drop from Reeds. <laughs> Enjoy your Zoa. Enjoy your Zoa, Reeves. On December 30th, 1970, Van Helsing was discharged from the Anzacs. He floated from place to place, but no matter where he went, he found himself spending a lot of time in the record store. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, he's not wearing his uh, rebel bandana anymore. Look at this actual hippie bandana. Someone in the crew finally, finally said something and was like, hi. I don't know if you know this, but uh, hippies did not enjoy the Confederacy. Yeah, We're just bumping his bumper van. Yeah, we didn't mean anything by it. We just let him cool his engine for a while, amigo. Meanwhile, we still got 54 items left to do on this list. So, uh, on delay, on delay. We'll get to the bottom of what's down with Nuke tomorrow. Good news! Check the oil! Yes! Now, this is one scary tattoo here. Oh, man! I told that guy we'd give him something tastefully classic. <laughs> this looks like hell! Sure does. Justin, stop thinking of more efficient ways to so kill our heroes. Thirsty, so, so very thirsty. thirsty. You crave the fuel. You, you crave power. Come then. Don't, Don't fight, fight the urge. Resist, Resist temptation, temptation no longer. longer. Come, Come over, over to, to our, our side. side. You won't be thirsty, thirsty ever again. <laughs> I promise. Come on. I guess you could say Dracula set up a real thirst trap. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, 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 oh. God damn. I don't miss. I'm the king of whatever the fuck this is that I'm doing. Come on. Now, now just, just open, open your eyes. eyes. For a big surprise. So I spent the night with my head in the cupboard, protected by electric light. When my mom came in to say goodnight, I nearly died the fright. More original John Entwistle music. Uh, this is a normal amount of uh, caffeine withdrawal. This is me when I don't have my coffee in the morning. Give me fire! Give me that what I did. Wow. Give me fuel, please! Having a little car trouble? <laughs> oh my god. I don't understand. What's happening here? Oh, no, figure it out, Einstein. Or oh, should I say, Nukenstein? What? Mich That's terrible. Mission again. Mission? Mich That's right, right. Come on, come on! Malnutrition uh, is the word I believe you so desperately uh, 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 I thirst! Wow. An everlasting thirst that only I can quench, Motivator. Welcome to the family! <laughs> Wait. I thought by night they all turn into robots anyway. 
does this mean that like some nights they're just like, eh, I'm sure the legion of undead car monsters are just gonna be quiet. Uh, we'll, we'll stay in tonight. Maybe rent a movie. Uh, why? Get an early bedtime. Uh, 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 so, hey, that's Clank. Gonna get up to the vein scan, man. Oh, the van skin. Huff, spark plugs, new monster truck on the lot. Jeez. I've never seen anything like that before. On second thought, I have seen something like that before. The what? Chilton, yes, I have seen the Crash Test Dummies animated show. It was... Better than it had any right to be, but it wasn't, it still doesn't mean it was good. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll do a test and see if I can actually, um, if I can actually do it on the, uh, on the dumpster screen. That might be interesting. Wait. What the Migos make with the mission ignition stuff? Like Pronto! Come in, motivators! If you had to get back here, I I had that exact it's same tape, Chilton. It came with the toys. Mission ignition time, amigos! There's a new vampire in town and he's tearing the place apart. Oh, no. We hear you, Van. Don't worry, we're on it. Let's go! Wait, where's New? That rude dude? <laughs> Come on, who knows and who cares? <laughs> Nuke! That's the monster! What the? It's nuke! Like, like mon- This is upsetting. They never focused on this before. What a weird and dumb thing. What a distracting choice. <laughs> Thanks, set designers. Mundo nuke! Nuke? What? All asphalt amigos, our friend has a monster problem. And so do we. Whoa! Something beat this place up, but good. Yeah, yeah, I guess the nuke monster had to beat and run. Careful, amigos, he's primo nasty. See? Now, I told you nuke was one rude dude. Nuke was jacked up tonight, no doubt about that, but he couldn't have done this. Check out all the empties, man. What? Oh! Oh! Nuke, is that you? <laughs> Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> Us! <laughs> <laughs> Nuke, chill out. Take a cold shower, buddy. Oh! <laughs> Excellent, Nukenstein. Nukenstein? You've done a bang-up job, master. Master? Vampire, come along now. Let's take you for a little test drive through the neighborhood. He who has the fuel is cool. <laughs> Somehow, Dracula has transformed Nuke. Huh? What? We got company. Snap, uh, you open it. Me? I'm not even thirsty. Stand back. Be careful at <laughs> green spot. Here, boy. Oh, oh, that's a good I dog. Okay. Oh, where are you going? We can't play now, green spot. <laughs> what is it, boy? You thirsty? Oh, hold up. He's trying to tell us something. <laughs> Wait, what is... Gypsy. That's Dracula's oh. there. No deposit, no return. Dracula? Already uh. has corrupted Nuke almost to the brink of no return. Oh my, when in doubt, whenever you wrote yourself into a corner where your main characters would have no idea what is happening, why it's happening, or how to stop it, just have this weird racist caricature car show up. This is like, okay, what's fascinating right now for this one is that because it's the original creators of the show on writing duties, it's clear that anything that was even remotely good about the show was like whoever contracted, whoever was like suckered into writing, actually having fun with the concept. Instead of this like weird parable about how the damn kids drink their too damn soda pop, God damn it, This is terrible. Like, the plot is bad. This is, oh my God. This is, this is the worst one we've watched. This is like, in terms of actual entertainment value, this is by far 
the worst episode of vampires we've actually we've ever come across. I am shocked, shocked at how bad this is so far. You mean Dracula filled the cans with his sicko fuel? Bingo, darling! How do we change him back? Only your high-grade premium will restore him. But hurry, or you will lose Luke forever. Not if we can help it. And we can! With these cans! We're gonna do a little recycling. Don't worry, Gypsy. We're gonna put this curse in reverse. Bye-bye! What? That's it's not how smokestacks work. Bring the cable hydra! Now to complete the transformation. What? Forever. What? 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 What is happening? Come on! What do you, what do you mean jumper cable hydra? What do you mean? What is no? No! What you have such precious little resources. And you did what a what a needless complication. What a nonsense complication to throw onto a nonsense story. You could have said uh, if it's not done, not done by sunup, or you could have said uh, it actually takes tw uh, 12 hours. You could have done anything besides, what are you gonna do, clamp it to his robo nipples? What is, what is this? What, no, 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 I refuse. I, re oh, who am I kidding? We're gonna keep watching. Easy now. This won't hurt much. Time for a solar cola break. Uh. Huh? Yo! What? No! Uh. You! Don't you know not to mess with the original formula? If it ain't broken, uh. you, it is now! Uh. Uh. We're gonna hook you up with cable track. Charge. Yeah! Electrical charge! That'll hold them. Now, to help out new. That's not how electricity works. Yeah, over here. What the? Oh, now we're, now we're desecrating graves? Now we're just doing some goddamn grave desecration? Okay. Okay, I guess. Uh-oh, I sprung a leak. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, Noob! Snap! Snap in two! <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean the goddamn tricycle is driving a truck? Stop that! Stop that tricycle driving a truck! Don't worry! The tricycle is driving a truck! Come on! Come on! I, you need to give me something. You need to respect my anything. Please stop disrespecting me. <laughs> Trike is driving. How can that be? Thank you, Torgo, for that. Ah. Oh, is this it's redemption? How is this episode redeeming itself in the last five minutes? Go for it, Nookie baby, go! Good work, <laughs> Grace Spot. Yeah. We'll take it from here. Here comes our loyal customer now. Okay, he took the bait. Now we gotta keep him on the run and run him out of gas. Fast! He's going after the solar cola. <laughs> Good old new. He's gotta be out of gas by now. Cause I sure am. This guy's like the Ever Ready Bunny. Keeps going, Ever Ready going. Bunny? <laughs> What am I doing here? Nuke, you're back on track, dude. Nukenstein! What? Nukenstein? It's all coming back to me. Yo, vampires! The name is Nuke! <laughs> taste test. Your brand gave me a case of bad gas! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for me? 
I think it fits you better. And looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Whoa, I'm getting a sugar high. And it's time to high fly. Wait, did they... Did they kill? So much just happened in the last 30 seconds. What was that? What? I, I'm sorry. I need to... I need to... Also, if... Just kill them. Just kill them. Put an end to this. He's going after the solar... It's you better. Everybody died. Wow. What a terrible establishment. I can't believe it. I did that? Amazing. Yeah, what's even more amazing is that you did that in three seconds. Flat. Flat out. But it wasn't really you now. You know, it, yeah. it was track. But I don't think we should tell that to the owner of this Justin, car. stop bragging about having friends. Oh, no. Nobody likes a show do? off. He's gonna hate also, this. have a good New Year, too. Neutral. Glad you could make it for the Hope stream. For the best, because here comes Van with the man now. Beautiful suit. There's something about this job I want you to understand. What is this? Well, look, first of all, look, I'm not a well man, so don't... That is awesome! Oh, see, what? I mean, really? that's incredible! Oh, yeah. I'm amazed! This is just what I wanted! Oh, really? Wow. Uh, are, are you responsible for this I I totally wanted to make have a weird vampire skull on the side of my car with no further embellishments. Just a weird off-center, imbalanced, amateurish, hastily done spray paint drawing. You did it! I'm Hank Businessman, Deus Ex Machina Extraordinaire, and I'm gonna give you a million dollars. Masterpiece? Well, we all are. That's it's right. It's a team effort. Yeah, we all did a little something, something. Put a bit of ourselves into it, you know. And now it's all good in the hood. Oh, well, you guys are all <laughs> And now it's all good in the hood. Ah, wow, wow. That better have been an ad lib, Jesus. <laughs> How much do you owe you again? Oh, uh, oh, awesome! Well, as I recall, the fee is pretty awesome, too. Uh, well, let's figure in a nice tip for the crew while we're at it. Ooh, yeah! yeah. Good 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 Customer's always right. Step into my office, amigo. <laughs> we'll review the numbers. <laughs> That's the first tip I ever got. I really use a cold drink. <laughs> what? You have a soda machine around here somewhere, don't you? Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, out of order, mate. <laughs> out of order. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, uh, for those of you who for that was your first journey into the realm of vampires, listen, you're going to get dizzying highs. You're gonna hey, Reeves, thank you so much for the uh, dono. So ends my time as the Van Helsing lore master, but Van Helsing has lived a lot of life. I encourage others to expand on what I have not. Thank you, Reeves. Thank you so much. Uh, you served admirably as the official lore master of Van Helsing, but as he put down his um, Confederate bandana, so too must you put down your lore master title. Oh my God. Uh, what do we got? We got, okay, let me play this good-ass John and weirdly good, uh, classic rocker music. Uh, let's see, what is that? 130, hmm, hmm, you know what? Counting the uh, super chats, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and very quickly. Oh no, I can't do that. God damn it. Well, 
I want to thank everybody who donated to the uh, Wife Chair Fund. Uh, this weekend, we will place the order. And finally, finally, my sweet wife will have a place to rest her beautiful, beautiful butt. Uh, we're, yeah, we're winding down. This has been the Cartoon Dumpster, a weekly dive into the forgotten, uh, mostly rightfully so horrors and treasures of a bygone era of television. I want to thank Reeves for his uh, generosity. I want to thank Rummy Slutman for the super chat. I want to thank Jenna for the tip. I want to thank Miss Abby Synth for their kind, uh, kind generosity. And uh, let me, uh, let me, br uh, no, let me bring up, uh, let me find that link. Let me get a link going so we can all meet each other over on the Twitch chat for Holdenators. Uh, Jackie, MJ, the whole crew are going to be watching a uh, Cats. And that is going to be an experience which you shan't forget anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all going to Cats. You're all going to Cats. I understand. Whew. That was a journey. Uh, my blood sugar is crashing to absolute minimum. Not even Zoa could keep me going this far. Here you go. Here you go. Boom. 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 It starts at 8. Tell him Jared sent you. Thank you for the grapes in the chat. Uh, my God, 40 people. 40 people have been uh, ch checking this out. Oh! Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Am amazing. Amazing. Enjoy your Zoa. Thank you, Nick, for your generosity. Oh, my God. We did it, folks. We did it. The little green bar is filled. Uh, the hope in humanity double restored. Oh, baby. Baby, we're going to get you a chair with, like, wheels on it and armrests and, like, the whole schmageg. We, we got armrest money now, baby. No more just flopping side to side unsupported. Thank you so much, Nick. That's incredibly – it means a lot. Um, you, you I have a I, – this is a great way to start the new year. It's, I, that's good vibes for 2022. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, every week, as, as God is my witness, I'm going to try – to keep this uh, cartoon dumpster train going. We also do gameplay streams. We also do uh, tier lists and other sorts of nonsense. Play some Jackbox. Uh, you, you, you get it. You know what it's about. Uh, but until then, thank you so much. God damn, Nick. That is so clutch. God, that was a clutch move. I was, I was, uh, what if I had hit end stream? God, that's, that's just what serves you the best. Only the best of chairs for Flesh Wife's booty. <laughs> it might even have cushions. It's going to be a mighty cushion because it is a mighty, mighty behind. I panicked. <laughs> Bless you, Nick. Bless your kind heart. Uh, God, okay, okay. I'm going to have enough time to piss, grab a snack, and I'll see you in the chat over at Holdenators. <laughs> Flesh Wife's still in the mix. Ah. <sighs> Wow, wowie zow. Thank you so much, everybody. This was this was a real one. Good uh, not the night is not over. The night is not over. I still gotta gawk at a horrifying movie musical featuring felines. See you there, people. <laughs>